In my research of you, you had mentioned that you felt like there was no other country on earth, basically, other than the United States, where you felt you could achieve the vision you had for the Creation Museum and the Ark Encounter, ultimately. Well, yes. So what happened? Where did that moment come where you like, I mean, that's a huge undertaking, because it's not only you, you're bringing everyone with you to a whole new country. Well, in the 1980s, I was asked to come over and speak in America. Mm -hmm. I was invited by the publisher of Creation Apologetics books called Master Books because they had heard that we had a successful ministry in Australia and a lot of their resources were being sold in Australia. And so I came over on their behalf and did tours in America and met up with Dr. Henry Morris and Dr. Dwayne Gish from the Institute for Creation Research mm -hmm. in California, Al Cajon, California, that's in the San Diego area. And they asked me if I would come over and help them get the message into the church in America. And I was amazed when I first came to America at the Christian influence in this country and the number of churches and Christian organizations and Christian radio. Mm -hmm. I never heard of a Christian radio station until I came to America. There was uh, even Christian TV. Uh -huh. I mean, that was just amazing to me as an Australian. And so the, the board agreed and my wife agreed for us to come over and help them. We moved over in 1987, January mm -hmm. 1987, and moved to America to work with them temporarily. And we were going to move back to Australia. but. The burden for the Creation Museum was very, very great. And as I was speaking across America, I saw America as the center of the business world. It's the center of the Christian world. Mm -hmm. uh, it's easy to get to from the rest of the world, whereas Australia is, you know, down under. Sure, sure. <laughs> it's a little harder to get to. And the population here was 300 million compared to 20 million in Australia. And I realized, you know, if you're going to you're going to build a Creation Museum, the best place to do it really is America. Mm -hmm. And looking back on it. It really is because it would not be sustainable in a country like Australia with the small number of people, the small percentage of sure. church population. And really, people come from all over the world here to America and it's easier to get to. So looking back on it, I see how, how God led us in so, that decision. So it was a calculated risk, but at the same time a miracle. Right. That's kind of what I'm taking from it. Exactly. And so